you generally want this stuff to be pretty shallow, okay? And here's why. Uh, when, you, when you bake your geometry out, your game res makes an envelope, okay? It makes a, a tiny little region where that's your baking area, okay? And it projects it outwards and inwards into the model. So let me give you a demonstration of floating geometry, okay, or of, uh, of envelopes. Um, so here's, uh, here's my cube, okay? Um, actually, I'm going to make this simple and delete these faces. Let's say I just want to bake this, okay? What's going to happen here? is I'm duplicating this model now. I'm going to shrink it in. And then I'm going to grab all these. No, nope, come on. I'm going to grab all these inwards faces and extrude it out. And let's make this a new material. Let's make it a transparent Lambert. Okay, so this is what's happening. These are my baking faces. Actually, let's shrink you in there. So this is my game res in here, what's highlighted, okay? Now the envelope is going to project outwards and inwards. This is your max out here. When you, when you go to Substance Painter, you have max. You can, you can visualize the envelope in baking inside Maya with transfer maps, but we're not using transfer maps, okay, Matthew? We're using Substance Painter to bake our models, all right? Yeah, don't use transfer maps. That's outdated, okay? Um, but, yeah, that's a good call, though. That, that is a way that you can show your transfer maps and, and see your envelopes. But th those are the settings, though. This is your max, and this is your min. So it goes inside the model and outside the model both ways. So this is the area that you need to make sure your details are captured inside of, okay? The higher your settings, the bigger the envelope. But the bigger your envelope, the more stuff you capture inside that area. So some of your other shapes will also conflict with that. So you generally, you know, when you go to my baking section, uh, it's usually set to 0 0.01. I like to clamp it up to 0 0.015, but that's still like a big area to fit your stuff into, okay? So, in, in retrospect, you generally just want to model your stuff safe, okay? These holes that I did here, that's about as, that's about the depth you kind of want to go to if you can, if you can allow it, all right? If things be, if your stuff looks Let's, let's take a look here and see. If you make your stuff too deep, okay, are you going to get some better shadows in there? Kind of. You'll kind of get some better shadows in there. You can see the difference between that, right? That's what it looks like in Maya. You can exaggerate that a little bit more in Substance Painter with textures and stuff like that, though, okay? The general idea here is just to get the shapes there and you can exaggerate that more in Substance Painter, okay? And here's the, my next step that I want to show to you guys with floating geometry, okay?